Good morning. It's Paul and Man reporting from outside BBC Broadcasting House. I've had a delivery today. <clears throat> uh, a delivery from Mel. I won't give her surname out. Uh, the woman who introduced me, introduced herself to me as uh, the head of BBC Corporate Security. Uh, the woman who said, uh, "Would I like her to go and have a word with the Metropolitan Police about taking a statement?" Uh, of grooming and sexual abuse in my childhood. <laughs> That's quite an amazing thing to say. Uh, I don't know what makes her think uh, she could have more sway over the Metropolitan Police than uh, the actual victim of crimes. Anyway, who knows? Uh, I've had a delivery. Uh, interestingly enough, not long after, I mentioned my uh, subject access request for the CCTV of when a man came down and woke me up, poured liquid on my tent and assaulted me, of which the police took no action. Uh, an incident which uh, BBC security was standing right where those men are standing right now and did nothing until I restrained the person who assaulted me. Uh, the letter says... Re response to your data subject access request. We write further to your request for a copy of your information held by the BBC made under the UK General Data Protection Regulations and Data Protection Act 2018. You requested a copy of CCTV footage of an incident that occurred on the 21st of April 2023. Enclosed with this letter is a copy of the above CCTV footage. Data Protection Law gives you right of access only to your own personal data, not third party data that identifies a person other than you. Therefore, third parties have been pixelated from the footage as disclosure would prejudice their data protection rights. That's quite right. Uh, lots of people uh, who put in subject access requests for CCTV footage are refused uh, because uh, the CCTV has other people in it other than the person making the subject access request. Of course, what they can do is they can pixelate out the people who aren't making the subject access request. So, uh, a round of applause to uh, the BBC there. Of course, a couple of things that I left out from my uh, early morning rant uh, was the, uh, the outreach workers that uh, came down. I say outreach workers because I've no idea who they were. Uh, told me that the police were coming down to move my tent today. I'm like, how would an outreach team know that before me? Why are the police uh, liaising with an outreach team before they speak to me. Unless, of course, the outreach team were lying uh, and this was just some sort of... Uh, some sort of worry that I'm supposed to have that the police are going to come down any minute now and uh, demand that I move. Of course, I was feeling quite safe and secure here. Uh, I have information that says the police will not move me because I am a peaceful protester. Uh, but now I'm on tent hooks, wondering, uh, waiting for a police car to come round the corner there, um, for some officers to come out and demand that I pack my stuff up and move. I'm also now worried about uh, going away and getting a bit of food, just in case I come back and everything's gone. Thanks very much, outreach workers, for your kindness. Anyway, I can't upload the CCTV footage because <laughs> it's on a memory stick uh, and my phone won't take the memory stick. So we'll have to save that for another time. That's another bit of uh, evidence that I can carry around with me. Uh, thanks very much for your support.